because our concern is fatty liver. So fatty liver is an accumulation of fat within the liver more than 5%. That we call it as a fatty liver. Fat plus liver. A fat is a existing of a fat in the body. Yes, it is there in the body. And also within the body, we call it as visceral fat. And also the one more space where the uh, fat come into picture is the liver. So when the fat is there in the liver, it produces, it will not keep quiet. To some extent, to some time, it will keep quiet and afterwards it starts causing an uh, inflammation. Means it's like a, a foreign person or a person who is unknown to you has come to your home. Because routinely, a fat will be very minute percent, less than 5% will be there in the liver. However, when it starts increasing, it's like an unknown person coming into your uh, home. So when the unknown person coming to you, initially adjust with it. Later, it starts causing friction with you. Similarly, the fat, once the content starts increasing, it starts causing an inflammation or an irritation to the liver. When that stage happens, it starts destroying your liver cells. When the liver cell starts destroying, we call it a phase of hepatitis. So that was detected usually when we do a liver function test in a case of fatty liver. the liver it produces it will not keep quiet to some extent to some time it will keep quiet afterwards it starts causing an uh, inflammation means it's like a, a foreign person or a person who is unknown to you has come to your home because routinely a fat will be very minute percent less than five percent will be there in the liver however when it starts increasing it's like a unknown person coming into your uh, home so when the unknown person coming to you initially adjust with it Later, it starts causing friction with you. Similarly, the fat, once the content starts increasing, it starts causing an inflammation or an irritation to the liver. When that stage happens, it starts destroying you. Most common causes, one aside is your alcohol. The next aside, the most common is your obesity. <clears throat> because it can be a obesity, familial or a hereditary or an acquired. Because in a current scenario, the acquired part is coming into a picture because of the lifestyle modification. When the liver cell starts destroying, we call it a phase of hepatitis. So that was detected usually when we do a liver function test in a case of fatty liver. A person with a fatty liver, a liver function is normal. So if the person is the fat whatever is there accumulated in the liver is in a quotient phase that can be reversed with many other things but when it goes to a phase of hepatitis where it causes irritation it causes an inflammation and there is a rise in the enzymes that will detect in liver function test in the form of AST and ADR, SGOT, SGPTS rise so that's the phase of hepatitis fatty liver turning into a inflammatory state that we call it as NASH, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or non-alcoholic non steatohepatitis. Steato means fat, hepatitis means inflammation that we call it as NASH. is most often related to fatty liver which is not due to alcohol because everybody we know that alcohol causes fatty liver but there are so many causes which can cause a fatty liver and go on because that is the one which is getting rampant in the current scenario. Once that steatohepatitis, you all know that whenever there is a small wound in the hand, when it heals, it gets scarred and it gets puckering. Similarly, whenever there is a hepatitis in the liver, when it gets healed on repeated exposures, like suppose because the fat is persistent for so many years, it continues. It's unlikely because of the viral hepatitis. Because viral hepatitis it comes and goes, it won't cause us a scar. Whereas in case of fatty liver, which lead to the NASH, so it produces a scarring in that. That we call it as fibrosis. When the fibrosis extends, to the whole liver it leads to acidosis that's a phase where liver loses its capacity to handle the body the body requirements because liver works as a toxin filter works to produce albumin production works to produce blood clotting factors so how can i prevent means the prevention mode comes is if you are alcoholic abstaining from the alcohol or 
if it is a non alcoholic so live a life with moderation because when you are tend to either depressed or too happy you know that you will eat more so have a moderation in terms of intake of food because we tend to have junk foods it gives high calorie that but it doesn't have a nutrition it doesn't have a uh, <clears throat> it doesn't induce your satiety so we feel still our uh, stomach is empty but we will be taking example if you give if you can take a small sweet of this much it will not fill your stomach but it gives a calorie almost equal to 100 150 calories so having a moderation in terms of food intake the quality and the quantity of food intake which makes more importance that is about intake what we are supposed to do legs are there for walking right so we need to walk at least 4 uh, km per day so everybody is fond of people are saying uh, keeping a pedometer or a smart watch having counting the steps ah, i have counted i have crossed 10000 steps a day no this won't work that is for a normal person to be alive it is not to keep you 100% healthy it is only to be alive you need to walk 10000 steps but if you want to lose a weight if you want to take out the fat from your liver if you want to reduce your visceral fat you need to walk the same amount at least 4 km per day in a early morning in a empty stomach that's the thing uh fatty liver is a as a problem yes definitely it looks very benign so need not to worry nothing to get scared but be aware be cautious what you are supposed to do because uh, as soon as you find a fatty liver just consult a doctor find out get an lft done find out is it going to affect you what is the grade of fatty liver and get a suggestion to uh, overcome the fatty liver like how you can reduce the liver fat content and get those things prevention is better than a cure because the moment the fatty liver shift to Uh, hepatitis phase the reversal comes down the percentage of liver cell comes down because if it is purely fatty liver 100% it is reversal just with a lifestyle modification but if it goes to a next phase you require a medication to reduce it then if it goes to a third stage then it is irreversible so 95% of the fatty livers they will become normal with the uh, lifestyle modification and diet modification only the 5% which needs an intervention again if you are strict uh, strict in your diet and workouts all those things that also can be minimized usually if you reduce the weight by the 10% it usually by 3 uh, months the uh, almost fatty liver grades can from 3 it can come to 2 it can come to 1 3 to 6 months is a routine timings which is required to reversal but if the medication suppose if we go to the non alcoholic fatty liver disease which goes to the hepatitis phase it may take the around 3 to 6 months of medication to reduce the fibrosis content also because if the if it goes to the hepatitis phase the fibrosis might be around f1 or f2 or f3 if go to f4 then it is almost cirrhosis but f2 it can come back to f1 and below by around 3 months fatty liver see fatty liver is basically that's what i told previously the other part is an alcohol leaving aside the alcohol and infections causes your obesity is the major factor because it's the visceral fat because we see lean fatty livers because patient looks lean his bmi is normal but still ha- still he will have a fatty liver that we call it as in indian we call it as lean neck they also have because they might be having externally they may not be visible but the visceral fat or the intra abdominal part of the fat might be still on higher high, higher side when compared to the body mass index or the uh, surface area when compared to the surface area still his visceral fat will be high so those cases they tend to have this uh, fatty livers so it's a lifestyle the diet intake and how we live with it that's the most important fatty liver it's a lifestyle modification is the proven weight reduction and lifestyle modification is the proven the adjuvant drug suppose if the patient is a diabetic you can use uh, your metformin or those things but if it goes to the hepatitis phase or a nash what we call it as there there is a role of the uh, pprf uh, in, uh, agonists are there and also that we call it as bioglitazone also has a role and also vitamin e capsules has a role and also there is one more pprf alpha and gamma agonists that is also has a role 
uh, that is we call it as seroglitazars so those medicines comes into picture when you go to the next stage or the stage 2 or the hepatitis phase whenever there is a bite fight process other than for fatty liver alone without involvement of the liver injury like in the form of a, uh, LFT showing SGOT, SGPT rest there is no value of the drugs is concerned it's only the lifestyle modification weight reduction the uh, management of your food modification only the proven treatment so far Yes, in the fatty liver, it can as simple as just a fatty liver with the ultrasound they picked or it can be having a big liver. Liver can go up to till the bone, pelvic bone also. We have seen plenty of patients with fatty liver with teeth going till the pelvic bone. We have found a bio, done a biopsy and found that it's only a just a fatty liver. So, they, if the hepatomegaly is there or the liver get enlarged, they tend to have an abdominal pain, vague abdominal right upper quadrant pain will be there. Other than that, they will not have any other symptoms. Most often, it's an incidentally detected in a routine ultrasound screening. But rarely, they will come with a right upper quadrant pain. For fatty liver, if at all anybody is doing marketing like that, it's absolutely wrong. It's purely, no even not even medications also. There is no medication which has proven so far that your fatty liver will be reduced with this medication. Nothing. It's only if at all some people can be used vitamin E capsule but we don't believe in that it's a drug will going to have this one. Yes, it's uh, quite good if you are crossed already 25 years and you are eating a Food from outside it is quite come to our hospital we have a liver clinic is there saturday 10 to 1 we have a quite good package is 700 rupees 799 rupees we have a uh, free blood test cbc your lft rft is there then a nutrition consultation is there i am there for free consultation and then what else you want so you can come and guess getting a routine liver checkup is always a good if you have a fatty liver just please come to us we have even an ultra free ultrasound also for this